Good Saturday evening, everybody. Come on in. It's time for me to get some food going. I have made some fries, some um, those uh, lattice potato fries and some beef sausage links for Kareem and for, I think Taz is going to come by. Anyway, that's what they're going to eat. But what I'm going to eat is a big old stir fry of vegetables. I got some kale. I got spinach, onions, broccoli, asparagus. Uh, multicolored peppers and I believe that's it so anyway I'm gonna do me a big old stir fry and just season them season them up I'm gonna use just a dash of lemon pepper season because you know we're still on the low to no salt this uh, marsala curry powder seasoning and of course no salt Tony Chocos they that Tony Chocos is loaded with flavor so what I'm gonna do is uh, go this is a uh, Two tablespoons of olive oil and a tablespoon of um, smart starch. So I'm just going to drop them in. No particular order. Just drop them in because they're all going to cook at the same, you know, same rate. Doesn't matter. I think they all get done at the same time. So I'm just going to put them in like so. I'm loving my new camera stand. Love, love, loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay. Now we can just go, ooh, this is my caller. I didn't think about the broccoli, you know, breaks up into little pieces. So that's what's on the stove, y'all. Let's get that off my stove. Get that off the stove. Hope y'all are having a god bless Saturday afternoon. I most certainly am. I tell y'all, when I tell y'all I have not done anything all day today, that's exactly what I've done. Nothing, y'all. You know, this uh, time to stay in has just really been a blessing for me. It, it just, you know, just say it definitively, stay home. And that's what I've done. And I've done nothing all day long today. And I guess tomorrow will be pretty much the same. Let me just move these up here. I'll put that in That's hot. Those are some of those uh, lattice, I call them lattice potatoes. I don't know what the other name is for. But anyway, got everything into the pan. And I'm just going to let them sit there and uh, cook. And when they cook down a little bit, I'll be able to stir them together a little bit better. I got that nice baby spinach in there. It's going to be good, y'all. I'm going to put about a, a couple of teaspoons of Tony Chocos in here. Yeah, about a couple of teaspoons is what I'm putting in. What y'all been doing today? I'm sure everybody's home. Hopefully you found something to do so you don't get bored. I've had a lot of people say that they were bored. I, I'm, I'm like this. I don't get bored because honey, you don't even understand how many things I can find to do around this house. And I have got, you know, when I know I'm going to be in, I start pulling stuff out. I got stuff pulled out everywhere in the house. So, I got to put it back together. What I did yesterday, that's about a half a teaspoon, about a teaspoon of a lemon pepper. That has a little bit of salt content. So that'll help pull my flavors together for me. Um, I went yesterday to Sam's Club and purchased pretty much most of the stuff that I think I'll need while we're um, in. Okay, that's about a teaspoon of my masala curry powder seasoning. And I rearranged some stuff in my cabinets because I bought so many things. And I changed around some stuff in my freezer. So, it's good time doing that. So, like I say, honey, it's hard for me to get bored around here. Norik came and he's spending a little bit of time with me. So, I pretty much have stuff going on all the time around the clock. And I don't have a whole lot of time for getting bored. So, you know, I told my grandchildren, they were talking about, you know, how bored they were. You know, children, their attention span is short, number one. And number two, they feel like they always got to be doing what they want to do. And I don't understand it because I, I'm trying to figure out, y'all help me figure this one out. They're out of school, so, yeah, they won't be in school, so they won't be, you know, 
occupied during the daytime. So I guess that's what they mean by being bored. That they're not in school and they're not with their school friends. I don't know why that thing keeps swirling on me. So anyway, of course, I said to him, you know, the ultimate thing, you know, get some books and read the books and whatever. So they were looking at me real, real weird. And I told him, seriously, even uh, classes that you're not that strong in, spend this time, make it quality time, <clears throat> spend that time catching up on some, you know, if you're not that great at math, do a little bit of extra math and kind of work some things out like that. Because I'm telling you, if these kids have to be in for a month or something, they're going to have to find something constructive to do. And we might as well go ahead and get them started sooner than later. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's going to be a, uh, because we just started, and I know my grandkids have just started saying that. So, I don't know, and I know some adults also, you know, saying they're getting cabin fever. Let me tell you about me. Even when I was working and traveling all around the United States of America, honey, when I had time to be at home, it, I never had a problem being home. Never in my life. I, I, I don't know what it means, you know, but that's to each his own. You know, some people truly do get bored, so. But I, I don't. I just don't really know what that means. I guess because I have so many things going on. But if you don't have some, a lot going on, honey, discover some new stuff. Because there's a lot to be done in this life that you don't have to be bored. And, uh, you know, pray, you know, that we all, I'm sure now we are all in prayer mode. Hopefully we all in prayer mode. If not, it's never too late to start. Because this, this situation that we're going through right now is just one of those things where prayer is about the, the strongest thing we can do because there ain't another thing in this world we can do about what's going on except, you know, take heed to the warnings. I don't know if I told y'all or not, but I'm done with my class as a Friday. Uh, I did well enough to, hope I'm not repeating myself, I can't remember if I did or not. But anyway, they uh, asked me Friday if I wanted to exit the program because I had done well enough and my, you know, my improvement was good enough that if I wanted to, I could because I think I had, let's see, five more classes to do, but they shut down classes on Friday. So if I was going to go back, I would have to go back and do five classes, I think. But they told me that if I was in agreement with what they saw about my progress, that I could just shut it down and I don't have to come back. So, you know, I just got to fill out this questionnaire type thing. So I'm done. I did well. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to miss all the people that I have been associated with. Cause I think it was, it was 36 weeks, I want to say. Uh, from, it was three months. Three times a week. Um, so, you know, you, you, how you can get, you can get to know people in that length of time. And I did get to know some, um, uh, awesome people, um, people who had challenges just like I did. And I saw people grow and come through that program and I saw their lives getting better. And I was excited for that because I know as I saw people get better and stronger that if God did it for them, he would certainly do it for me. And he certainly has. And as far as my heart is concerned, as far as I know, and from what I feel, that program was just what I needed. It's a good program. So, if, uh, heaven forbid, that situation happens in your life. But if it ever does, and you have the opportunity to go to the re through that rehab program, please go through it. It is a wonderful program. We had some great uh, health care people that took care of us, taught us how to exercise and be strong and how to be confident, how to eat. I have a notebook that is just loaded with ideas and recipes and all that. Some of those recipes I'm going to be trying along the way. I can't wait to get started on them. So I think I need a little bit more oil in the bottom of this pan. So I, I'm just, you know, I'm excited about the program, what I learned in it. And all the things that I'll be able to use is called cardiac rehab. And it's all through uh, your local hospital, your cardiologist. 
and your surgeon, I think, between those two, and probably your primary care doctor. That's a, a program that they get together and decide, yeah, this will be beneficial in that individual's life. And I think most people who go through heart situations have the option to go through. So if you get the opportunity now, just remember, it's a worthwhile program. And I suggest that you just take advantage of it because most of the time your insurance pays for it. And uh, it's just something good. And like I say, you meet some great people from all walks of life who have gone through the same or more, you know, serious things than you have. But nonetheless, it's a good program. It'll get you back on track. Because I, I feel good. I feel strengthened. I've got some issues with uh, my back that have nothing to do with my heart issues. So even through that, that exercise... <clears throat> It's helping to strengthen my back a little bit. But I'm, I'm going through some other challenges with that. But again, I'm done with my program. Came out with flying colors. I'm excited, proud of myself that I made it through. But I'm telling you, some mornings it was like, look, I don't want to go to this class because I want to do something else. But that I went through it, and at the end of it, I'm the better for it. So, oh, this smells so good, y'all. Now, for those of us who can have a little salt, a little bit more seasoning, uh, you know, I got some sweet and sour sauce that I may pour over that because uh, it doesn't have uh, a lot of sodium in it. It doesn't have a lot of sugar, but just give it a little bit of flavor. So, but the basic foundation of this stir fry vegetable pan is right there. I got my broccoli, uh, kale, spinach multiple peppers and onions and asparagus and it is going I'm just looking forward to sitting down to a plate of this. This is gonna be my dinner. I may have uh one of those Papa Peter's uh piece that pita bread. It's low in sodium. Or I just might make me a veggie wrap. I got some uh, veggie wraps um yeah I think that's what I want to do. You can, uh, these are Tafoyans, uh, earth, heart baked, low carb, low sodium wraps. So I'm going to use these. I think that's what I'm going to eat mine is. And I made me some, a big old bowl of fresh salsa last night. So I'm going to have me some nice fresh salsa on there. And I'm just going to, uh, have a blast from the past. Uh, good 15 minutes on cooking time, I think, is all it takes. This entire uh, stir fry plant pan only takes under 30 minutes. So, on Saturday evening, if you want something, you can throw some mushrooms in there. In fact, I almost did, but I got my mushrooms in the freezer and I didn't feel like digging them out. So, I'm not going to do mushrooms. I'm just going to leave it just like it is. Throw some salsa on there. And maybe I'll even put a little bit of Greek yogurt instead of sour cream on there. So I'm going to have me some nice wraps. Hold on and I'll be back. And I'll show you how I'm going to wrap these up. Sit back and relax and, and enjoy them with a cold, cold cup of lemon water. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm getting ready to put together my wrap. I decided to just go ahead and do a wrap. And what y'all see, those two white pieces there, that is some American cheese. I just took one piece of cheese tore it in half and put it on there. I was told we could have a little bit of cheese, so that's not a little bit of cheese. So I'm just going to take a couple of spoons of this, these nice veggies and put them right on that wrap. And I think one's going to be a plenty for me. So, that's not re running. He's saying hook two, three, four. I don't know what. Don't ask me where he got it from. I don't even know. I didn't know he knew what a hook two, three, four is. So, this is my salsa. Um, I've heated some in a little container so that I can put it on there so it won't be cold. So, this is my nice big old dish of salsa that I made last night. Y'all, it's good. It's real simple. All this is is tomatoes, uh, onions, celery, green pepper, garlic, lemons, limes. 
and a little bit of vinegar. And I allowed myself a half a teaspoon of salt and oil. This, this is a half a gallon of salsa that I made. So this is so good. It goes on. I put it on everything I eat except for my dessert stuff. And I don't do it on dessert stuff. But, okay. So it's ready to just wrap. And this is what I'm going to have for dinner, y'all. So listen. Thank you guys for tuning in. As usual, love you guys so much for continuing to support me, to pray for and with me, and to stand in the gap, and to pay for, pray for our sisters and brothers as they're going through. So remember, we're still praying for the um, health care givers as we go through this crisis. And you know what? Another group of people that I identified yesterday as I was out and about, I took uh, Kareem to the... Uh, one of the fast food places. And you can only go through drive through Those people are working hard. Excuse me. Not rich. Not rich. A little bit. Give me a little bit of that volume. I'm, I'm recording, okay? Wow. I just, I just trying to play. I know you're just trying to play, darling. Yes. But well, I'm trying to wait for grandma, but I'm trying to raise this mm -hmm. for two races. Okay, can you say hey? Do you want to say hey to the camera? No, I just tried to race. You're racing? Yes. Okay, could you race a little bit quieter for me? Yes. If, okay, so it won't be so loud, okay? Okay. I love you. Thank you, darling. He is so sweet, honey. He's growing. He's four now. And he's doing more four-year-old stuff, so it's running. You know, boys like to run, so he's run, jumping off the stairs, running through that little space I got in front of the kitchen, around through the dining room, and he's saying, hook two, three, four, I believe. He said he's trying to race. But anyway... As uh, I was out with Kareem yesterday, and we stopped at a fast food restaurant, and the store itself was closed, but they had uh, people working the drive through and it was crowded. It was really crowded. You could tell that those young people were not used to working, I don't think, that hard. Uh, and so, you know what I thought? I began to pray for, for that young lady, and because she had her, her forehead was furrowed, as I call it. So I knew that she was working hard and she was there probably some hours that somebody else couldn't make it in. Because, you know, kids are having to be home now and people don't have daycare. So some people probably couldn't make it in. So anyway, I said all that to say this. And let's pray for our food service workers as well because they, you know, they become essential personnel because they provided a way for those of us who you know, maybe don't cook or are used to going out to eat. We can't go into the restaurant, but we can certainly go through the drive throughs and uh, frequent different fast food places and other restaurants, too, because my girlfriend, Barb, her restaurant, she's doing takeout as well. So hats off to those people who are staffing those uh, businesses, the restaurants and the fast food places, because they're, I'm sure they're working some long hours. So we uh, thank God for them, for those of us. Hey, darling. We thank God for those of us who, you know, still want to go out and eat and things like that. But just hats off to those individuals because a lot of those are young people who have those type jobs. And it gives us some extra hours. So while it's a stress, it's a, bur uh, a blessing because they can make some extra hours. So just hats off to them and to any service people that are out there still. The truck drivers, they're still on the road. I've heard them on the radio talking, you know about having to stop at different places. So we can just hats off to anybody that's still out there trying to work. And we ask God to give patience to the parents who are having to stay home with their kids and they're not used to, or just anybody who's pulled out of that element to do what they have to do during this crisis time. So it's, this thing is serious, y'all. It's bothersome for some people to be home when they're not used to, you know, people saying that they're, and I, I don't take it lightly when they say, well, I'm bored. I don't get bored. I'm just that, that's just me. But I understand and respect the fact that other people do get bored. And, you know, that's, that's a, that, that uh, cabin fever is a real thing for some people. So we ask that God will strengthen them to be able to stand and withstand and use this time in or shut down. As something positive to do some things maybe that they haven't been doing and for those who cannot you know rise above that that we ask God's strength to them to be able to overcome and that this thing will be over shortly 
and that they won't have to go through too much more. So just all around, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just ask that you would bless your people each and every day to help us through this situation. And that will be done on earth as it is in heaven, throughout this earth for this crisis. So uh, just continue to pray without ceasing. Uh, Facebook family to each one of you. I'm still I'm praying for y'all. I'm trying to answer um, comments as much as I can. I'm praying for y'all. Thinking that you uh, will be. I'll be there just a second, baby. Uh, and we just, talk to you. Okay. This, yes, darling. I mean, it's just one race. It's run for okay. for that way and and go this way and just to the dark stairs. Really? Is that the route you're taking? I'm so proud of you. I like that. That's a good route, okay? Yeah. Finish your race. Okay. Okay. I hope you win. <laughs> okay, baby. Love it. You gotta love him. He is, you, he's just so cute. <laughs> he's just the cutest. He just wants me to be in love. He's an only child. Well, not really an only child, but he's he's an only child for his mom. But between his mom and between his, for his dad, he has a sister, which is Kylie. But he's with, he's with you know, for the most part, he's an only child. He plays well by himself and with me. <laughs> so, anywho, y'all, we just continue to pray uh, your strength uh, in the Lord that things will get better soon. And that, as you know, whenever they do get better, that we can bring something good out of what is going on. Use this time, like I say, because I think, you know, for we, some people have been already out a couple of weeks, so... Let's try to find something good. Let's try to find a silver lining. Uh, to do, get some things done that we haven't done or contact some people or do what we have to do. So, anywho, y'all, I'm going to sit back, relax, and enjoy my uh, wrap here. I'm going to add me some extra little salsa on top. I, I'm just a lover of salsa, y'all. Look, y'all need to get in the kitchen and make this salsa. I've done salsa, I think, two or three times. On the channel, so if you uh, go on this channel and uh, just put in salsa, I think it'll pop up for you, and you'll be able to um, see what my recipe is. But like I said, all of this I usually use four tomatoes, one green pepper, one large onion, three stalks of celery, and honey. Ground that stuff up. Get your uh, little food chopper, ground it up. Uh, get a large lemon, a small lime, squeeze it off in there, it's, uh, three or four cloves of garlic, put that in there, and then put you a little bit of vinegar, stir it up, and you got yourself some homemade salsa. Hold on, you know my children calling me. Okay, y'all, so as I was saying, I'm getting ready to sign off here. That was my sister-in-law just checking on me. Um, we try to keep up with each other. She lives in Atlanta, and... Um, we were like best friends. We were more like sisters than in-laws. So, anywho, y'all, I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy my meal. Uh, I got a lot of leftovers over here, so y'all want to run by here and get you a wrap or just a plate of veggies. Come on. I'm here. Listen, guys, love y'all so, so, so much. I just encourage you to continue to pray without ceasing and to pray for one another uh, still. You know, think about reconciliation. Call up somebody that's... Uh, a widow. I, in fact, this is what I was going to say to you also before I forget. I have seven widows that live on my street. And one of my things to do during this time frame is to try to make contact with them. Because a lot of times people are in and don't have anybody to talk to. So if you know somebody that's widowed and don't have a lot of family or friends around, give them a call just to say, hey, how you doing? Uh, if you know, you know, just elderly people in general, or people in general who might be sick or whatever, just give them a call just to say, hey, that'll boost them up a little bit. Because I have folk call and come by and talk to me all because my family and friends are always around me. But every time they come around, I still feel good about it. So I can't imagine not having that to some level, to some degree. So if you know of somebody, uh, even young people, if you know somebody that's in a crisis or going through some things already on top of this, then go ahead and give them a call. Just say, hey, how you doing? You know, take five minutes. It won't take that long. Anyhow, we're going to pray. continue to pray without ceasing for our health care workers, for our food service workers. So those are our two target groups of people. But we also going to keep in mind the rest of the world who is going through, you know, strength for our, our parents who are having to stay home off work. Uh, 
you know, and, and prayerfully, it's not a, a financial situation for you. And even for those who do have those financial situations, that those things will not be drug out, that you get some relief shortly. So until I decide to cook again, which will probably be tomorrow Sunday dinner, love you guys. Thank you guys so, so, so much for praying for me, praying with me, for me, and standing in the gap, and for continuing to pray and without ceasing and reconciling the things that you need to in life. So until I cook again now, love you guys. Toodaloo. Keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down.